and we just want to see it say, come to fruition. You understand? Where you say, so, so where you say, Jody and Mary, true, you say, vote out Andrew. That's why I ask. Yes, me said that because I see too much things where I'm disgruntled with under this government. So, uh, yeah, and not just this. Look how much things. There's too many money scandals with this government. Too many. That's why the people feel nervous right now when them hear some money again. Because okay? them, them just, if the first thing we're coming in our citizens' mind is, is this money going to reach us? That's the truth. I'm not inventing this stuff. Somebody says, see your money. Yeah. <laughs> and it's so funny, the person. <laughs> you know, so I'm not easy for the internet. Be of yourself. You, Mr. Muir. Be of yourself. Cho. <laughs> yes, yeah, so as I'm saying, people, I am here just praying. I'm praying every day since this money announced. Lord, let the money reach the people. Lord, let them be fear in their judgment. Lord, let all who need it get it. And let these people have compassion in their heart as a Jamaican instead of as a party representative we cannot continue in that vein it's not right you understand we i feel like really take stock of ourselves i understand me feel bad for no say first thing everybody has even when we did their work this week and we are debate about it me and my listeners them so the amount of comment that my people are saying were negative me couldn't read them out because not not happy yet but the people, you know, the people mind, there is a build-up of negativity and trauma towards anything to do with money. You can't blame the people, them. See, somebody said, we can't change that sister and they're all the same. So it's the same on both sides. People, them, not have trust. The people them not even see where the opposition are lobby for them needs. Most of the time when the opposition at a strike at the government is some petty thing we can steal. More important thing they were them supposed to mobilize. The, 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 the opposition is almost inactive as far as I'm concerned. They're not a strong opposition. So I never get when people think I'm siding with the opposition. Well, if you side with the people, I never side with them. I mean, now I'm going to side with Andrew in a foolish need. I may big him up when I'm supposed to. Andrew, I feel about me in a kind of time when I call him name on radio. And when I'm good, I talk it. When he make good announcement, I encourage it. And we would have hoped to God say, we can get a place where the people them not feel so much mist. Right now, the people them nervous. The people them nervous. Them have them stress on them head, them furniture mash up, them house mash up, some of them vehicle mash up, some of them nana job. If them can't find food, look how much farm mash up down at St. Elizabeth. So the people are stressed because when your livelihood is not secure, you're stressed. It's normal. And then when a hurricane hits, and you lose your roof and you have to catch over your nearby yard because obviously, you know, the shelters are not going to stay open for long. Right? So all who did that shelter, gone back at their yard now to see where they can salvage, how they can fix up their place, where the government are going to help them. Of course, the farmers are looking forward to some help, but they still have to wait for the crops them to grow back again. It's really tragic. It's really tragic. yeah so whole strain people make we see how the money spend and hopefully the people will really benefit from the efforts and i hope also that whatever the the different um categories of assistance that nigel announced whatever the maximum is that they can take from it for this disaster that they will and let all the people get it you can't I don't want to see, if I see one video with people claiming that only labor right I get help, me I going to be very mad about that. If me see one video where say, one PMP, MP only a gear to feed him people, then me I going to be very mad about that. Me not going to like that. 
since somebody says some people will be getting help even if they don't get damage we know this the corruption is crazy like the levels of corruption that's why somebody asked me earlier why me send me that vote out andrew i may say it i'm gonna say it again i have seen too many money scandals under this government period now if your money is not being handled right and you're not answering to it there's a problem there is a problem um with jps people be patient please remember it's a dangerous job i know some lines are on the ground and i saw a video this evening with birds who hit it and died and people could be walking and don't see it in the bushes and so be careful guys be careful anywhere you see and um uh, what jps did they put a caution tape around the the pole in the video that i saw but the person narrating the video was saying that you could have just walked past that the pole and walk right in at the line panic ground and shock yourself to death they gotta be more careful than that where that is concerned with the down poles the down line sorry but yeah it's a sensitive job it takes high fee um hi chin hi everybody coming in big up tiktok big up instagram youtube big up on yourself um yeah so with the jps now it's hard for us to understand but we really should because it's a very tricky job safety matters and we don't want these workers to be at risk the few workers them who are healthy put on the light them now we're supposed to cherish them when you know see them give them one drink of water buy them one beer if you know can or give them one out on the house because it's not an easy thing and jps from the start even before the damage they did not have enough manpower i said this repeatedly at work this week by the way guys make sure you check out my show i'm on area fm monday tuesday and wednesday um 10 a.m to 2 p.m easy skanking i do social commentary i play music i play the poetry um it's reggae it's local music i do some up tempo as well um but the show is really the people's platform right on radio so you guys can check it out but yeah um with jps i have had a lot of understanding for how they're moving based on what i know and the fact that i know that they weren't equipped for just like a big disaster for normal operations they tend to um be able to come back on stream quickly enough nowadays and their app does work and all of that but in a disaster it is a disaster the response from JPS has been slow. People have been very impatient, but still just hold strain people because them go and get to everybody. And yes, some get before the other and that makes some people more frustrated. But the truth is them can't get to everybody the same time. You know, um, somebody said, I think they fail us because them never maintain posts and cutting off trees. The damage wouldn't so bad. That's true. Because... The damage of the wires them have to do with like things like it threw them fall down upon them and tear them down and so maintenance was always inadequate when it comes to that when it comes to jps and the maintenance of the trees and the lines but then again it goes back to manpower yeah somebody said it don't cost so much money to fix the bridge at cornwall courts the bridge you mean like you road where the fire truck dropped down you know yo that was the most amazing video i watch like i watch a video that opened over and over with my mouth wide open them they're not pot pole them they are some sinkhole them they are some big hole no sir at them they you call big hole you know did see that video there with the fire truck literally drop down in the hole them and spread them out even further and when you look underneath it blank it's like blank space somebody say a gully call it anything you want tell me what to call it you never see patrol big so yet from a bar me never see patrol big so no the fire truck i go about it business whether i go stop a fire or go back at the station and you want to tell me so what emergency vehicle have that to deal with the emergency worker them have that to deal with my god man who been the road there this is how thin the asphalt was on the road and below it was empty space dirt 
the soft mall, all they were full of beer mall and that. And then when the storm come now, the water wash it well, left the big old gully them underneath the road, and the one little paper thin layer of asphalt on it up. Now me, I wonder where the prime minister I go do. But the people them where they make a contract when I do no good work. I years we got you by the road, you know. I years we got you this, you know. Remember say you no know, when them give out money for bill road and the road done. There's supposed to be some type of timeline or guarantee about the type of road. What type of road is it? Is it concrete? Is it asphalt? How long is it meant to last? Stuff like that. Ah, oh, it ain't happening. And then people do damage to infrastructure too fast. Yes, somebody it was in the news. Somebody say um somebody lit a fire under the bridge and of course you know that would weaken the road and that's why the truck was there so the truck was actually there to put out a fire which may not know if it gets to put it out or not but as far as we see the truck did stuck why do people them a light fire under the bridge you're weakening the infrastructure of the bridge it has metals and poles and so i don't know sometimes the ignorance of the people come back come affect the people because at the same people them need a road I see people need the services and fire truck. I mean, we have to stop. As a people, we got to stop this foolishness. We light fire anywhere. We burn fire for anything. And it don't make no sense. So look what that caused now. So it weakened the infrastructure. However, it's not the reason the road is weak, though. The road is weak because of the thin asphalt. We saw that on there. Um... We saw that on there. Uh, who, who, who made the comment? Jody Mayor. Jody and Mayor, remember, so we see the little paper thin asphalt layer. So the fire just exposed the bad work. It would not be good. Period. So you, you have this thin layer asphalt, beer soft dirt and stone underneath. Rain, wet it, wet it, wet it, soak it, it just <laughs> broke away. Hollow. How could that contractor get away with that? They have his number. There's a contract number. He got an invoice. All you got to do is submit legal papers to the government lawyers and they sue him, get back the taxpayers' money and give it to a contractor to build a proper road. How can they continue to do this? And a lot of the times, the contractors are also associated with the politicians in some way or the other. There is so much cronyism and nepotism and just handing out contracts to people who are not capable of doing the job and that's why we have the situation with the bad roads this road is just one example there are so many roads across jamaica even when they patch the roads it makes no damn sense the man them wear patch road them not belong to our road work first of all when you drive past them all they be doing is reasoning drinking smoking doing all types of crap that has nothing to do with road building them patch the road some it high some it low it bumpy bumpy wavy wavy it in a dry good it, it it's plucked away over the path well it not need it. me no know them people yeah me no know something wrong how oh, you yeah, give so much contract to people for building road and you all of them now build good something all right that many people them not qualify you don't have proper engineer, you don't have proper management of the project, nothing. And then when the project done, nobody not accountable for when time in a work good. Road mash up again in a few weeks after it bill and nobody. If you say, okay, you're going to pay back the money. You see, then did I make an example out of the contractor? Yeah? This would have stopped a long time. But then can't make no example out of the contractor then because the corruption turn up. Whether this a government or the next one, as so Jamaica been around a long time. When work for run, your ears say that the man they go check the politician, you know, because a theme link that and he may go check him and tell him say, My boss, forget this I work and ray and tay and the whole cycle. We know the thing go already, man. Yeah, man, we know the thing work. So it's crazy. Like, how you expect that that's gonna work? You supposed to be able to. Um, account for taxpayers money and when you give it out to people to do a work and then don't do the work good there is legal consequences for that and you use the money to make it better I me mean, not understand the contractor and the whole of them get rich 
every contractor when me know get rich after the people them and not give the people them no good work all right guys so moving on moving on to our next story um and it kind of has to do with the same road thing the prime minister um announced that reports from the NWA show that over 500 roads were impacted during the passage of Hurricane Barrel. He indicated that the cost for repairs to the road networks is 10.25 billion, estimated so far. I think it will increase. Some people think it's a lot, but Jamaica Road ended bad already, so they might as well just fix up the road, man. Don't God no. Touch out. Add one next 10 billion to it and draw and fix up all our road them because we're tired. We're tired of patrol. We're tired of bad road. We're tired of road them a fall up. When the Korean fall upon them, not, not stand up to, to, to nothing. My God. Anyway, um, the Prime Minister says that, or the NWA says that, the number is. 50 more than what they reported at the start. So 500 roads. Them, I mean, no, by now, they might go announce more. Soon, they might go announce more. The agency's communication and customer services manager, Stephen Shaw, said that despite increases in the reports, 95% of the roads were cleared. This was on Wednesday. All right, so people at Quarry will say, why are you having so much money? 10.25 billion. I think people are misinterpreting the amount, thinking it's just for one road or for the bridge because people don't read. But yeah, it's not. It's for the road network damages. So what they've estimated so far brings it to this amount. And like I said, I do feel like it's going to have to increase. It's going to have to increase. No patching can't help this chin. Patching chin, me eat patching. But grieve over patching, me rather they left a patrol till they fix up the old road. Cause patching no make no sense. You will see them patch five patrol yes so, three yes so, two yes so, ten yes so. And when you go on the corner, one million they run their weight pile. Where you, where you come as a come patch for? What make them just do one good road work, fix up the network, choose the community them within which the budget would take you for that constituency and fix the road resurface the road and do it at a time when it's not traffic time like seven o'clock in the morning when people are got work and school because i see this foolishness all the time it's ridiculous just every weird way all them do things right here now you could have write a book about jamaica karate me can't bother me cannot bother so anyway Allah who are cousin and say where they need so much money for we need it the road them want to fix up. We need more than ten billion dollars to fix the road. And the hurricane really fun and nothing nothing do with road fixing. Them the money they have to help the people them, the farmers, the people who suffer damage and so on and so forth. All right. I want to say about that? That road, right? All right. Um, back to JPS. As you all know, um, enough people still not get back light despite the fact that today them unknown say. Them announce say ninety percent of people them get back like, but I me mean, no know. Maths just not maths in. You know, see where the maths are maths at all with that. Them I use numbers because I guess them a panic and I try to keep the people them calm. But either better if them just tell we say them I work hard and them something there, you know. But ninety percent JPS really this evening how much o'clock? Today eleventh of July. Me not think so. God no. Maybe my maths wrong. But. Me think of them at wrong door. Good night, everybody. Good night to everybody coming on. If you missed, you kind of missed out some might already. Really, I'm just, you know, talking about burial and after burial and what we see going on. And we will be watching the situation as it concerns the people getting help. I've been appealing that the artists need to be more kind to the people. The business people, the manufacturing, the food companies, the construction companies, the hardware is all these different companies that earn from people need to be kind to the people. Not because one little man come down your hardware, come tell us, say, in my beggar one, two piece apply, you feel like you do God's work, or you feel like that is charity. Do something sensible because the people them always are spend with them. So not no wrong if one at time them spend back with the people because all of what the people spend with them, it accumulate and them have it store up with them. Okay, go heaven. 
Not one hour we now walk with one cent where we have them could have rich and bossy some more. So I don't know. I don't like what I see. I don't see a lot of mobilizing of these big companies We make money. A NCB alone, I see, put out one initiative with the government to make people can um, give money. And NCB say if you get $10, they might get $10. I love that big up NCB as much as we cost them all the while and then banking system give so much problem and I can't tan them. I give thanks for hear that. NCB has an in initiative right now with the government. If you go on their website, you should see it. A relief initiative where if you give a hundred thousand dollars they'll match you so every donation that goes in is matched by ncb that is an awesome initiative so big up ncb and people are gonna go and get the money because imagine me get hundred thousand ncb get hundred thousand you get two hundred thousand ncb get two hundred thousand you'll get five hundred dollar ncb get five hundred dollar whatever it is it's gonna double so that is really a good initiative and they're collaborating with ArtPem and the other agencies which are reaching the people so you know yeah them can somebody say leeching can also do but that's what i'm saying so it's who can do it must do it so you want to say a chance here only artist can do what she do chance and a half rich like some of them people here in a chance here just target money you know I wonder if you don't know that. You have people who are rich for years in a music business and them still not do nothing. So me not understand if I shan't see alone rich in a dance hall and rummish. I don't rich them rich like that. Them just have the willingness to do it. You know, hear Ramesh talk and say a people give him some of the something them, some of the company them, him call them name. I don't know what grace and some of them give them. Although I don't think none of them do enough. None of the food company them in Jamaica not do enough. Me not see Lasco feed the people them. Who buy Lasco like Jamaican people? Me not see Miracle. Me not see Kendall. Me not see them. Who buy them products more than the people them? Food companies should have food stations all over the damn place. Feeding the people, giving out care packages. So I see where rich people are doing Jamaica. You have some rich people where they're not in the public eye, them just rich. Do something, man. They need to do something. And you want them when they're public eye. Oh no, mind show off online. When you not buy on a beast. And on a, on a mind show off on a VVX chain. And on a mind show off on a big back of Hennessy. But when it comes to help people, and we make uno can't afford anything there. Una talk about, oh, I know everything on do pan camera. Do it pan camera. We want to see artists them do things pan camera. And now, no one go hide and go one side like, no, nah, nothing. People are like criticize, um, Shensi and Rami, and a contract, but I know everything if you publicize. Yes, if you publicize. If you publicize, when you do such a good deed, in a time like this, if you publicize. So, me never know, me never know what's the artist shy. I don't want the pan camera now. All of a sudden, show them mean enough of them. Them not, them not kind. And them not willing to share with the people. Them not take up not even one million dollar, but them are charge all ten million dollar for the show door. Me grieve over them artists here. Yeah. I mean, me not stop talking till me see where some of them. So they must have a conscience. I say, Jesus Christ, man, I'm bad beat with man. Them have a conscience. Look how much. Artists bust out of Jamaica and for years and accumulate wealth and you want them to say well hurricane come and not even if it come, them not come together because guess what they were never together they're not united to begin with artists them have attitude with one another ego all type of thing this time and that them are not but you know if you link with them link with who you link with and make it happen do something for the people them me embarrass about the artists them you know make it look like a shensi alone have little money a shensi and a rich yet. She ain't see just her anger money. She ain't reach no way yet. Them mean. Them artists here. Enough of them. Enough of them. Them mean and selfish to the people. Them. Some of them are come from less than where the people them are come from. I know them think them up there. Them look down upon the people. Them, them think, where? And them supposed to take care of people. Them now go around. Go to different communities. Go up to your community. Go where you're from. And see what's happening and if you can help the people. I mean, I want nobody come tell me, say, oh, um, how you attack, where you the fear community. Me, they want to help myself on a lucky. A rich people we attack about. Rich people we attack about. 
rich people. So I'm rich in all kind of way, but I'm rich in money. And if I did have it, I got dash out the people them down a little London. Yeah, and who have it we are talking about now? Who have it now? Because we are going to have it now. But if we don't have it now, we have to do other things to help the people. Like push the people who have it to do something. Because on their own, obviously they don't get up and do it. And how much do you got now? I mean, I see no initiative for the artists. Where all of the loud people them on Instagram there? We all of them we always up patrolling and then Gucci and then Prada and then this and then that all then do is show off. But when it comes to real time now, for show off your character and your your charitable side, on a talk about on and publicize, on and publicize, publicize that. Publicize, yes, publicize, big up Ramesh again, big up Shensi again, good girl, big up yourself. Feel where you do down a St. Elizabeth, where your people them come from. I don't care a damn about which song she sing when nobody never like me. No business as a human being. She show her character more than enough of them with the boy attack. Enough of them. These artists, let me tell you, no, me have me have personal experience with them, plus me observe. A 20 a year now, me in a media. 17 years of one radio station, the biggest radio station in Jamaica. So me seen things. I me see enough of them come when them come. Them do, most artists not born in no riches. Me saw nothing near me one artist. Me want to know me a challenge you nothing near me one dancehall artist. And one reggae artist will come from wealth. Name one of them. Not one of them not come from wealth. I grow them, grow them wealth. Through the support of people. So how oh, hurricane come now and I can't see them. Me not see them. I want to see three, four, five of them together. I want to see Valiant. I want to see Skeng. I want to see Malidan. I want to see um, Wenyem. Najiri. I want to see the whole of them. Band together. Group with who you're good with. You don't have to go link with your enemy. You don't have to link with the next man. Group with who you're group with. And you pull the money and go. Or do it on your own. Go for your community. You got your community. You got yours. You got yours. You see them? You see them? I hope the people them see them. And mark them attitude and them response to this situation. Most of them when they talk about wealth are just for show off for the people. Them. It's the same people them who make them wealthy. It's the same people them who buy a ticket good on a some fest go watch them next week. It's the same people them who wear china, temu, cheap clothes and make them can wear Armani. A data one. Music business where people make millions off. You want to tell me, say, not even 100,000. 10 of them could have come up with and say, all right, if they even have to get ad permit. But they don't have to do that. They can just choose for them where they contribute to the people. She see choose for her way. She jump on a truck. Pack up some sit in them, go down at Senti. Them not have to do that. Them can go half a tree, set up some table and say, people want to come here at so 3 to 5 p.m. We are geared care package. But them there, me not see them all now. With it uptown people, them there, with the, the Jamaican so called celebrities and influencers. Who get rich off of TikTok and these places where a people were poorer than them, enough time send 50 cents and two dollars. What then there? And the people are in need. It is serious. And I like people just, yo, I'm going to tell you something. Me sit, me look for the St. Elizabeth people and I want to cry. You know why I want to cry? Because I know St. Elizabeth people full of pride. St. Elizabeth people don't want to come on the internet, come beg nothing. St. Elizabeth people decide to work hard, then get up before daylight and go up and farm. Most people are sent as better farmer and are some rich, independent minded people. When they say rich, me mean up your soul. Up yourself. The Saint Elizabeth people them feel a way for even the pan video a ball about them situation. Them feel like them feed the whole nation and know when the time come when them hungry and need a roof and whatever. It's it's caterpillar movements. The help is caterpillar movement very slow. Very slow. So 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 people have humanity in a them. Them have them pride. 
them feel a way about them situation them not really want for the pan video this evening me watch a old man pan a video i talk about him also and something i tell so my heart broke up in a 50 pieces because that the man walking whole life pan farm him a farmer and the woman we talk with him to a farmer now once he's a farmer he's a hard worker because you have to go in a dirt you have to dig dirt, you have to tend to plants, you have to make sure they don't get too much sun, you have to water them, you watch them grow, and your crops them come up to where they actually can make you make money. This is how the people make their money, and the farms have been decimated. You get me? So, I don't know, I just feel bad for the people then. All right, let's move on to our next subject. Oh, before we move on, so JPS on Wednesday announced that because of the um, complaints of the slow movement, especially for St. Elizabeth, they deployed, they, or they will be deploying rather because they have to gather them. This is what I said at work. They need a team which they mobilize at the time of natural disaster. These are not your regular staff that come in on their regular shift. These are people you call up when you need them and you need a considerable amount of them to match the devastation so i see i said this on monday and tuesday and i do believe that jps are listening to me and other people are said to because people even the prime minister said that he would consider getting outside help from overseas i don't know what he's waiting on i think they still need it however jps says that they will deploy 300 workers to saint elizabeth to complete the, ele the electricity restoration work and that is over the next few weeks so you see saint elizabeth get it worse than others you know because most people are say all right we light i come back little little parts of negril have light parts of manchester parts of here parts of there but with saint you know it's like really slow so we are hope this week's not turning to months and turning to years where the people them destitute feel like don't have senti because the problem is the wire them not up not up tie up tie up bust up bust up so them have to get that sorted out that's very important the wire them when them have so much wire problem it make the work slower oh my god the can't rush the jps people them and custom people don't do it give them time because it's hard right so we understand the frustration and the, everything we have to do with it heat mosquito everything and people know why I left their window up in there. No, no, if teeth are going to come in. All type of, it's so stressful for the people right now. So we're hoping to see that these 300 workers will make a difference for the restoration service in St. Elizabeth. We know too that some hospitals and clinics did not get back electricity up to yesterday. So I'm hoping that those important places, the fire stations, the police stations and so on, that they, you know, that's a part of why it's moving so slow. Because when you don't have enough staff and then you have to prioritize these important places, then the citizens end up a few weeks little longer and people not feeling that at all. So, yeah. All right. Schools have been damaged too. $797 million is the repair bill for some schools so far so as you know they can't do the estimates for everywhere at once it's just going across the island figuring it out so they're at the stage now where they say that they need up to 797 million dollars which that too should come from one of the funds which nigel clark announced um and so far they have estimated that 100 schools have been assessed and they are in six of the seven regions so it's spread out all over the place um the report also says the majority of the cost reflects schools in saint Anne and trelawney which means that they um, were um heavily impacted by the storm um it's going slow too because of the disruptions with communication i still feel like i'm very lucky to have light and to have a connection to talk to you guys tonight um, because the service still remains patchy all over the place all right um so yeah we would love if the schools get repaired as much as possible before school open september god no anyway hope for the next few days will be the test to see if the money's reached the people and um you know it's going to take some weeks to continue these efforts 
uh, we sure hope that they need to if they need to put some stuff in place for accountability because we still cannot be sure that when them say okay we are gonna send 900 and million dollar if you spread it out across seven regions or whatever that the money really do what it's supposed to do like who's making sure there's almost no way to make sure the money just hand over to the people them and over a period of time whatever one happen, one happen, and then it's like ah oh, forget about it we move on to the next project and more money come again and it get mismanaged and blah 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 anyway the last topic for the night people is the topic of all topics this is the topic of all topics this topic is caught up now in the whole mix with burial this was announced wednesday while i was at work it was announced so the integrity commission has indicated that its probe into concerns about illicit enrichment resulted in a majority of cases being without merit you see what i'm saying no accountability so the integrity commission is basically saying even when people come and make reports and have things and show them whatever it not lead nowhere now this comes on the heels of the integrity commission reporting that two more parliamentarians have been cited for illicit enrichment two more parliamentarians are under investigation or rather these two are now under investigation the six which we knew about before which we were calling the illicit six you can now call them the illicit eight they are not under investigation they are in the report from the integrity commission and the integrity commission is coming on the fire for not naming these parliamentarians however they made it clear that it is not their job to tell the people who these people are it is their job to file the report with the speaker of the house and for the whether the speaker of the house the prime minister the 